principles of math physics. In today's video, we shall continue with integration. What is the difference between definite and indefinite integrals? When we talk about definite and indefinite integrals, one of the most important branches of mathematics include calculus. Uh, calculus is a manner of calculation of problems in a systematic way which usually deals with finding properties or values of functions by integrals and differentiation uh, kind of derivatives so the basic concept of calculus is differentiation and integration so the two concepts are inverse of the other the inverse of integral is differential and the inverse of differential is that of integral so what is the difference between indefinite and definite integrals we can say that uh, integral is indefinite if uh, there is no limit of that function so we say that indefinite integrals is the integral in which no limits are applied and has a mandatory arbitrary constant added to the integral why in the case of definite integral is the one that has both the lower and the upper limit as we can see in this second case we have x1 and we have x2 of this function f of x in respect x so let's uh, go ahead now to use this uh both definite and indefinite to find the the value of a particular function using integration so we've got question, the question number one here, we are to evaluate uh, this integral from this limit, the first one, uh, lower limit is 1 up to 4 of root x plus 1 divided by root x in respect to x. Uh, so the first thing to do here is to rewrite uh, this equation so that we have the integral from 1 to 4 uh, of root x becomes x to the power of half. Uh, plus uh, x raised to negative a half because here we have the root in the denominator and all this is in respect to x that is dx so this will mean that uh, we will have uh, the integral if we integrate this it will simply be uh, this will simply be 2 over 3 x uh, raised to 3 over 2 we add 1 in the power this will become uh, uh, 2 x raised to a half 2 x raised to a half plus some constant c of course we are evaluating this uh, from uh, a is equals to 1 and b is equals to 4 so if we evaluate this we simply get uh, 2 by 3 multiplied by 4 which is the upper limit 3 over 2 plus 2 into 4 of raised to a half plus some constant c uh, this will be minus uh, 2 over 3 uh, raised to 1 we are evaluating using the lower limit 3 over 2 uh, plus 2 into 1 uh, raised to a half plus some constant c If we simplify this, we will simply have 16. This will give us 16 uh, by 3, 16 by 3, uh, plus 4, plus some constant c, uh, minus, this will give us 2 over 3, 2 over 3 plus 2, plus some constant c, which, if we bring this together, this plus this, uh, into this we have a 28 28 over 3 plus C and uh, this will be minus 2 over 3 plus 2 will give us 8 over 3 8 over 3 so uh, this is uh, equals to C that is if we take this C this side so this 2 equals to C if we just take this that side so that we end up with if we add these two together we have 20 over 3 and this will be the first solution